content marketing, inbound marketing, video marketing, email marketing, direct marketing. It's time to make all of the marketing pieces easy with relationships. Hey there, I'm Abby Herman with Right Solutions. I help service-based business owners get noticed online by helping them create the content marketing strategy and implementation that they need to attract the right customers to them every time. Whatever marketing that you are doing right now for your business, it is not going to work unless you build relationships to go along with it. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about what relationship marketing actually is and how you can take strides to develop relationships with your audience, even if you are an introvert. Funnels and content as standalones are not going to work to convert your audience to customers. In fact, it feels a little icky sometimes, doesn't it? When you know that you're in a funnel and you know that somebody is selling to you with their content, it doesn't work all by itself. You have to develop relationships. This is how you build the no like, and trust factor among your audience and convert people into customers. These days, we are so used to all those automations and the self-serve that we get when we call up our mortgage company to get our balance, or we go to the grocery store to uh, end, end up in self-checkout, or even ordering our groceries and home goods online. I mean, we've got one day delivery now, right? But I think what happens is we start to really crave those one-on-one -on -one connections that we are missing out on, especially if you are a Gen Xer like I am. I didn't grow up with the internet or with a home delivery. Uh, it just didn't happen. We actually had to go to the store to get the things that we need. So let's get back to those relationships because that is the fastest way to grow your business. So here are some ways that you can give a more personalized experience to your audience so that you can start to grow those relationships and convert those customers. First, when someone responds to your weekly nurturing email, uh, make sure that you respond back. Hit reply and even if it's just a simple thank you, something is better than just ignoring that message in your inbox, no matter how many emails you get. If you are getting too many that you can't handle them on your own, uh, it's okay to hire somebody to help you with that. It's about the experience that they're having with your brand. If somebody sends you a direct message on Instagram, respond with a video. I have nurtured so many relationships and met so many fun people that way, and I've even converted a few clients that way as well because it was something unique and different. If you don't have your hair done or you don't have makeup on, don't worry about it. It's just one person that you're sending the video to. If you're selling a high ticket experience to your audience, Respond to purchasers with a personalized Loom video. That will help elevate that client experience right away and get people really interested in you and what you have to offer. Now, if you're tracking your analytics and you have something like ClickFunnels that you can do that, make sure that you are sending people personalized Loom videos who have visited your sales page a couple of times. Obviously, they're interested and that Loom video might just be what puts them over the edge. When you host a live video, call out the people who are there live by name. It makes them feel really good and they're much more likely to interact with you if they know that you're paying attention. And one of my personal favorites and the first thing that I did to start to build relationships, even though it was really scary at first, is having virtual coffee chats with people. Set aside 30 minutes, 60 minutes to sit down with someone, uh, you know, Zoom video to Zoom video, Skype to Skype, and have a virtual coffee chat with someone in your industry or someone who you have interacted with on Facebook groups. The more connection that you make there, the easier it gets as time goes on and the bigger your network grows. Really, the possibilities are endless with exploring ways to grow your relationship and to use relationship marketing in your business, both online and offline. Sometimes you have to get a little creative, uh, especially if you're introverted. That's why I love the virtual coffee chats so much. 
Tell me what some of your favorite ways are to build relationships with the people you are working with and the people you want to work with. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.